this family, Omani here, at the National Museum of Tanzania. And it is another beautiful day, and we're on the way up to the top floor to start one of our iconic presentations. So shortly, we're going to come along here. Standing here and look. So far now, this is a one of the oldest cities in Tanzania that we call Kiwa. Kiwa is located in the southern part of Tanzania, but also in the west part of Dar es Salaam. It's about 330 kilometers from here. It's almost five hours by drive. So why Kiwa is it important? Right now Kiwa is being as the oldest uh, city that was developed since 9th century. And it's where the Swahili language originated. As we speak, you knew that Tanzania or East Africa, uh, the common language is Swahili. The name Swahili came from the word Sawahil, which is Arabic, that means Coast. So the Swahili language will start to be spoken along the coast of Indian Ocean. And the first people to invert here are the Arabs. So the Arabs met some of the locals who are staying over there. Their ethnic groups was Wamuli. So Wamuli are the local people who served for the first time in Kilwa. So Kilwa is an island. So after they arrive, uh, the arrival of the Arabs, they chased them from that area. So the area to be, became to be uh, uh, owned by the Arabs. So from there, now different things were started. Among was the business. So Arabs had a, a trade between East Africa and the Far East country, Europe. So we had the trade and the trade started from 1000 BC to 1300 BC. It's a long years back. But we had that, uh, the trade routes that were used was through the ports. This is the Dow, which they were supported by the monsoon wind. So as we speak today, Kiwa is among of the world heritage sites. And this is under UNESCO. Due to the unique features, history, and some of the other factors that all those criteria of the cultural Kiwa has. But Kiwa is the only area whereby we have the oldest mosque that dated in the 11th century that's in East Africa, is Kiwa. But the mosque was expanded in the 15th century due to the high demand of people. So far, the other cities that are developed along the coast, we have uh, Zanzibar, we have Lamu, Pate, Mombasa, Bagamoyo, Dar es Salaam as Dar es Salaam. So the name Dar es Salaam is the Arabic name. That was derived from the word uh, Da means a home or a house. S means of. Salam means peace. So Dar es Salaam is a home of peace. It's the Arabic name. And the name was derived, was started to be used in, in 1866. So we have some of the oldest buildings in Dar es Salaam that were built by the Arabs, but also that were built by the Germans. Most after the Arabs were under Germany, then German, then British, to independence. So far, we go on this way around. So on this way around, we're going to see the findings that are found in Kilwa. But before that, we have the other door here, which has more than 1,500 years from one of the southern west of Tanzania. That's the region in Tanzania, which is uh, in Sumbawanga. Uh, the tribe is Fipa. So these decorations, they were used as the directions. But then, there were no electricity. 
So if the father is wrong, so the only way that he will understand or determine in his own place is through using these decorations. So he will be like, oh, okay, this, yes, this is not my home place, this is my home place. So decorations means a lot. But apart from that, we have this will run. Yeah, you are you. Yeah. You just keep moving your way through This is the societal development, the elite development. You all knew that most, uh, that used to say that all the civilizations that we African we have was brought by the whites, all Europeans. Right. So they were trying to, uh, to, 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 to hide the reality on how African countries we were before. You know, up to date, Africa is the only country that has the early civilization. And once we speak the early civilization in Africa, we mean the northern part of Africa. That's Egypt. But now before Egypt, but uh, after Egypt, we have East Africa. So these are some of the pottery. These are the pottery that was brought after the archaeological excavation in different parts of Tanzania. And this, after using different material that's to, to, to date, uh, to check out whether they, are, they have been there for how long. We use carbon fourteen, and from there they just tell us this, they were used from uh, 600 years ago, some are using up to 200 years ago. That means it was before even the colonizers. So we had our own civilization before. We had our own technology before. We had our own uh, different ways of worship, living, uh, doing our activities, uh, treating our kids in different ways. That's how Africans we use. So these are among of the uh, evidence that shows that Africa, not only that we are that continent, we had our own development. I once read one of the book of Walter Rodney uh, that's titled How Europe and the Whole Africa. Thank you, madam. <laughs> the book tried to show how the levels of development in African Europe in the 15th century. So in the 15th century, the levels of development in African Europe were likely to be the same. So it doesn't mean that we didn't have our own development as the white says. We had our own development, but what we lack, we lack where to document, but we had our own way on how we document. Some they used to document along uh, the palm tree leaves, okay? Uh, they were used to, uh, to uh, document, <coughs> yes, by using uh, rock art, rock paintings, and engravings. So those are some years back. So that shows that we in Africa, we had our own development. And now, on this way around, uh, we have the coins. These are the coins. 